Welcome to day three of five simple steps to heal your relationship with money for spenders. This is our five day challenge. And today is day three. And I actually think it's really day two because our first day was an introduction. So we'll just call this it'll be day three of six okay because we'll end up doing six days today you may actually need to dig out some statements um your credit card statements student loan personal loans um but that's okay let it take as long as it takes i don't want you to be frustrated with the process this may actually require you to change some passwords for you know some of your accounts that's okay let it be easy don't make it stressful if you have to change passwords if you have to go dig up some documents from somewhere or log in let it be easy it gets better you will be so happy by the end of the week when you have all this information in one place so that's what we're going to do today so let's get to the overhead all right so here we go again with the five simple steps to heal your relationship with money for spenders we're here on the challenge portion and it is time to look at our loans. So let's zoom in to the section of loans. And remember, this is our treasure hunt. We are not beating ourselves up if we don't know this not all, all these numbers. We are going to hunt for them and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be easy, okay? So loans, we are gonna be looking for auto loans, student loans, personal loans, and business loans. Now, this is a really important thing to find because once you get this information down on paper in one place, you have so much more peace of mind because it's not in the back of your mind about like, oh, don't I have that loan? Oh, don't I, what, where, what's the password for that thing? No, we're gonna hunt for it. We're gonna put it all on paper today and get this off of your mind so your brain can actually free up energy to think about something else. All right, so you're gonna put the account name here, the loan start date, the term of the loan, which means is it, you know, 60 months, you know, for an auto loan, a lot of times it's 60 month term. Um, is it 36 months? Sometimes your personal loans will be a 36 month term. Just find what the term is. The monthly payment, this is what they're asking you for right now. The interest rate, and that'll be on the statement. The original amount, so how much did you originally borrow? And what's the current balance? How much do you owe that's still left to be paid? Okay. So what you're gonna do to find this information is off the top of your head, okay? Just think, okay, do I have, what loans do I have? Okay, I know I have my car. I got, you know, my partner's car. All right, so that was from, you know, Honda, Toyota, whatever it was. If they're not sending you a paper statement, if you get a paper statement, it's easy. You find that paper statement and you hunt for this information just like you hunt it for the mortgage information. If you don't have a paper statement, log in, um, just go on Google and look it up. If you can remember where you bought your car from, sometimes there's some paperwork in the glove compartment that you have that you can see, oh, I got my car from Gilman Honda. Right, and then you can just Google Gilman Honda, find their phone number and call them and ask, you know, for either them to send you information or just ask them questions straight up right there on the phone and fill this, this in. If you have a personal loan, a business loan, and maybe through a bank or a credit union, follow the same process. Can you remember? Um, which bank, which credit union it was, Google them and call them up. If it is a student loan and you, um, a lot of times we don't log in ever, right? Like you never log into your student loan. Um, if they're sending you a statement, you can log in and see, get all this information just online. Um, don't worry about trying to remember a password or anything like this. For any of, any of this that we're working on, just change the password, just reset the password, go in there. Um, if it says, you know, having trouble logging in, go in and ask for your username and they'll probably email you something. Reset the password altogether to something you can remember, something positive about this time of your life, you know, put in, have a positive password 
um, and just go in and get the information one by one, just hunt for it, okay? If you need any help with this, I am available to help you. Please just set up um, a consultation call or like a free trial coaching session. I'll give you the information for that. It's in the email, but if you need help just getting started with this part, do not try to stress uh, you know, and do this on your own. I'm totally here to help you with this. You don't have to do this on your own. Okay, so what may happen is that you'll find, like say, you know, you, you think of three of them off the top of your head and you put them down and then you get a good night's sleep and you wake up and it'll be like, oh, I forgot about such and such, right? That happens. I don't want you to feel like you have to sit here in one session and get all the information out at one time. That's not how you have to do it. You just have to start and then as you relax into the process, your mind will present you with things that you may have forgotten that you didn't realize needed to go on the sheet and that's fine. And then you just come back and add it, add to it, okay? Remember that managing your money is not a project. It's not something you do once. It is a lifelong habit and routine and you can just get better and better and better at it, all right? So I will see you in the next one. Okay, that was so much. And I'm so proud of you for sticking with it. And listen, if you need to spend an hour um, continuing to find this information, let it be. Now, I wouldn't spend longer than an hour because I don't want you to get frustrated by, you know, all the time it takes for you <clears throat> to gather the information. But I would say if you have to spend an hour this week, this is the section to do it. Just make it, you know, as easy as possible. Expect that it's going to take a little bit of time, but that's why we're doing it as a challenge, right? That's why it's a challenge because we're going to challenge ourselves and push ourselves to get this section done and have this information at our fingertips. I promise you it's going to be worth it and you're going to feel so great after you have it done and meet me back here tomorrow. We will do the third day of the challenge. I know you can do this. You're doing so great. All right, I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.